So people think it comes from a galaxy far, far away, but it's actually here in our neighborhood. What do you think, R2? David Pemberton, owner of DP Property Maintenance in Windsor and Essex County, has brought his childhood fantasy to life. He's built his own 175-pound life-size R2-D2 robot, identical to the one used in the movies. He's about 85-90% aluminum. He's about, honestly, he's probably about an $8,500 droid where I'm at right now. But spread over two years, it didn't seem like that much. But don't let my wife watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Though he took collecting to a whole different level when he stumbled upon astromech.net, the official website of the R2-D2 Builders Club. After spending a year reading and doing research, he ordered his first part and he was hooked. I'm not the most technical builder in the group. There's some guys that have done some amazing things, but my particular unit so far, uh, he, he can do all the sounds from the movie. Uh, he's got the utility arms that open up, uh, he's got the foot drives, I mean he, he totally functions on his own, on his own power. What most people don't know is these robots cannot be bought or sold and that is the first thing you learn when joining the group on the website. Not complying to these rules can result in being banned or even sued from George Lucas himself. So I mean basically there is an understanding, you're going to do this it's a home-built droid for home enjoyment. An enjoyment it definitely brings. He plans on tweaking his current model by adding the periscope and having the dome panels open and close. But it won't stop there. He would like to start working on a second R2 unit, the Empire Strikes Back version. This version will be built using poly fiberglass. It's going to be much lighter and easier to pick up for transportation. But for now, his current R2-D2 will bring entertainment to his neighborhood. But even just having an R2 unit now, when you take it out and you see the, uh, the smiles on the kids' faces and, and even the adults that are in awe, I mean, it's, it was worth every minute of the project. The neighbors will get together, you know, and we'll have a barbecue or something and we'll say, hey, let's bring out R2. And next thing you know, there'll be 10, 15 people here and the kids are having fun and, you know, they don't expect it. Like, nobody expects to turn the corner and see R2-D2 driving down the road. So it's it, in that way, it's a lot of fun. Well, that's all for today. I'm sorry, R2. I have to leave now. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, R2's upset. From Windsor This Week, I'm Joel Boyce.